Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing my latest watch purchase. So with all my purchases, I get nothing for doing these unboxing videos. Every watch you see on this channel, I bought with my own money. This purchase is from Macy's. I'm gonna say this wrong. S uh, Suki Yami Moon Phase Atomic. Citizen Echo Drive. If you've watched my channel before, you know I tend to use and feature mostly digital watches. Occasionally I buy an analog watch. This is a watch I've been eyeing ever since it came out and I got a pretty good deal, or at least what I think is a pretty good deal. I ended up paying uh, 500 and, what was my total? $557.82 total. So this uh, watch retails from Citizen for $850. Macy's had it on sale for $595, and then Rakuten had 12% off of that, and then I have 1.5% cashback rewards, and then you have to tack on $43 extra because I live in a state that charges sales tax. So my bottom line price was uh, $557.82, which I thought was pretty good. If you're out there watching this video and you think that was a bad deal, I'd be curious, or if you think you got, or if you got yours cheaper, I'd love to know about it. But let's take a look at this watch. So I've got a lot of digital watches. I wanted something just simple, kind of dressy to throw on for things like going to church, or if I've got a meeting at the office, I need to dress up a little bit. I've got some automatics in my collection, but I wanted something that was always running. And this watch caught my attention. Titanium watch. It's really light. Now, I don't know. A lot of people like titanium. I always feel like it almost feels cheap. I'm used to like my Seiko Monster that has a, a hefty, heavy bracelet, and I kind of like that. I can see the attraction of titanium, uh, but I kind of like a little bit of a meteor watch. This watch is extremely light, so if you're looking for a light watch, uh, this is a good option. I'm going to try and give you a look at the case back. Not a whole lot to show you there. There's not a lot of design. I think you've basically got some world code uh, values on the back there because you're going to be using that to set your atomic value. Uh, this watch is charged by light, so it supposedly never needs a battery. I can say this. My wife has a Citizen Echo Drive. It worked for 14 years. She left it in a drawer. She never wore it for probably five years. Uh, it wouldn't take a charge. Uh, Citizen told me you've got a 40-year warranty on the capacitor. They said send it in. I send it in. I sent it in. Cost me shipping to send it to them. They fixed it. Sent it back. No charge to send it back. No charge to fix it. So uh, I was really impressed with their customer service. I'm trying to give you a look at everything I could think you would want to see. Nothing on the crown. Take a look at the clasp. Do have a couple adjustments, it looks like, on the clasp, which is nice, so that you can get it fitting perfectly. It is a flat crystal, it's not a dome crystal. It is a sapphire crystal, 43 millimeters, so I have six and a half inch diameter wrist. Now this isn't size, so there we go. It's kind of hard to see what you're doing when you're looking through camera. That's what it looks like on six and a half inch wrist. It's really nice. I was a little bit worried about the, the background image of the moon. I wasn't too cracked up about. But what's great about it is that you really can't see that. It just looks like a blue dial. You have to really look hard to tell that that's a moon on there. Supposedly, this is the first ever atomic moon phase watch. What that means is once you've got your settings set correctly, the watch will always set itself every night, including the moon phase. So not a whole lot else to show you. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill my overhead 
and let's see, try and get it as dark as possible in here as I can. If you're like me, you're always curious about loom on watches. Citizen has really good loom, I'll say this. It doesn't get as bright, or at least in my experience, it doesn't get as bright as Seiko does. But six hours into the night, if you wake up, I always feel like I can see the Citizen better than I can see the Seiko. The Seiko always has a little bit of a, a haziness to it, whereas Citizen's loom always seems a little bit crisper, even though it doesn't get initially as bright. So anyway, not a whole lot to show you. I don't really know how to use it. If I figure out some of the features, maybe I'll do some follow-up videos. That is an unboxing of the Citizen Echo Drive Atomic Moon Phase. I hope the video helped.